And my first question coming up is count out with Mike and Taylor. Gentlemen, welcome in. What's your question and who you got it for? Hey, guys, can you hear me all right? Yes, we can. Awesome. Dilo, thank you so much. Uh, just before I ask my questions, I can see your shirt and the Count It Out podcast. We do recognize much respect for everything you've done in the business, sir. Appreciate um, you. Thank you. So I have a quick question for both you guys. Uh, Josh, I'll start with you. First things first, congratulations uh, on your new uh, championship win. Now that you are the world champion in one of the biggest wrestling companies in the world with 20 years of history behind it, how much pressure and responsibility are you putting on yourself to be a leader in the company and help the growth of the viewership? Are you looking at TV and pay-per-view numbers a little bit differently now, or are you just kind of going business as usual and letting your in-ring work continue to speak for itself? I mean, I, I certainly feel the pressure as like the acting figurehead, as the world champion, as the first person people look to for all those things. Uh, but it's, it's honestly, it's out of my control. I can only control what I can control. And that's what I do in that ring. That's what I do on television week in, week out. And that's why I said earlier with D'Lo, like every time I step in the ring, you're going to get the same Josh Alexander. You're going to get a hundred percent of everything I have, all the effort, everything, every time. And, uh, I think that's why I'm in the position I'm in now. I think I'm a world champion because I'm so dependable and I'm so consistent and all those other things. But like I said, those other things are out of my control. Perfect. And Eric, real quick for you, um, with the success of Violent by Design over the last couple of years, it speaks for itself. You can really feel the passion and the believability in what you what you three are doing. I was wondering if you could kind of take us back to the creative origins for Violent by Design and just uh, like, was this an idea that you always had? How hands on have you been with the uh, creative and what's your experience creatively with Impact Wrestling compared to other places that you may have worked in the past? Uh, violent by design. I mean, obviously, I think anything in wrestling uh, that's successful, uh, it, it, it's a collaboration, right? It's not one person's idea or you know a single person dictating. I, I think all the best stuff is done collaboratively, and uh, VBD was definitely done collaboratively. Um, you know, there's lo lots of uh, discussions about who would it be and who would be in the group, and and what I thought was right, and uh, you know, very hands on with Scott and all the people in management of you know the picking the music and uh, the vignettes that Eric Tompkins and Dave Zahadi, the ideas that they had and the verbiage, um, all the, the the creative side, and that's for me is, is the biggest drug in wrestling. Uh, you know, obviously the big being performing in the ring, like that's uh that's an irreplaceable drug to me. Um, it, it can't be duplicated, uh, but the creative side of it has always been my favorite part. Um, you know, you know, for lack of a different world is manipulating people and, and convincing them that this is the person that I am and this is what I believe. And I think uh, me and, and Joe and Cody and the entire team at Impact have done a really good job. You know, it's a VBD is a huge part of the show, uh, has been a huge part of the show from day one and, and will continue to be. And for me, I mean, it is selfish, but like I, the honest truth is I feel like we're just scratching the surface with what it can be. Uh, and the idea behind it. And we've touched on it some, uh, some of the, the, you know, the origin story and what it's really about. And uh, it, it can go as deep as we want it to. And that's, what's exciting to me. Um, and, and obviously, you know, being um, in a group with two people that you love and respect uh, Cody Dean, or I've known for well over 20 years and, and Joe, I've known uh, for, for a long time as well. I can remember him first coming around BCW working shows for Scott years and years ago. And, uh, obviously not as, uh, as close with him as I am with Cody, but, uh, Joe has quickly become one of my favorite people in the world. Uh, one of my favorite wrestlers in the world. And I get to stand ringside and watch him just do things that nobody else is doing, uh, with a physical style that nobody else is doing and a, just a way of being that can't be duplicated. So it's, uh, it's a really cool point in my, my career. And I, I said this in an interview earlier today is I'm having the most fun I've ever had in wrestling ever and Scott Demore and, and the, the staff and Anthem Sports have created a very special place. And I'm not, again, trying to talk for Josh, but I, I know I've read and seen things that he's saying. And he's just signed a new contract and is here full time because of this environment. And it is it is singular. And I've worked in a lot of places and I can tell you it is not like this anywhere else. And the grass is not greener on the other side. Uh, I I'm just ultra proud and ultra happy to be exactly where I am. 
I appreciate the time, guys. As someone who's a Toronto boy through and through, I've watched both of you guys my entire life growing up. Uh, can't wait for the show on Sunday. You're doing all of us proud in Ontario, especially representing coming up through the indie scene. So thanks, guys. Appreciate it, man.